Hi, I'm Josiah. You might know me from my Disney animation reviews. I am super excited today because today I'm starting a brand new series on YouTube, Pixar Movie Reviews. That's right, I will be reviewing all 21 Pixar movies for the next few months. I'll be giving you my personal preference on each one and talking a little bit about the movies and what I like and dislike about them. And yeah, this is Pixar Movie Reviews, my brand new YouTube series. Pixar holds a special place in my heart because I was born in 1995, the year Toy Story came out. So Pixar movies have been a part of my childhood and are still a part of my life to this day. I actually rewatched the first 20 Pixar movies by personal preference in anticipation of Toy Story 4, which is currently in theaters and is not too far away from coming out on home video. So I'm really excited about this series, so let's get started. Starting, of course, with the world's first computer animated feature film and Disney and Pixar's very first movie, Toy, Toy Story. I was born, like I said, in 1995, which was the year Toy Story came out. It came out for Thanksgiving 1995. It was the first computer animated feature film ever made. It was Pixar's first movie after years of doing shorts in the 80s. And it still, to this day, is one of the best animated features ever made. I'm not going to go into a behind-the-scenes story on these reviews like I did on my Disney Animation reviews. But if you know the story of Toy Story, I'm going to do uh, three things with these Pixar movie reviews. I'm going to give a brief plot synopsis. I'm going to give my likes and dislikes. And then I'll end with where the Pixar movie stands on my ranking of all the Pixar films. So let's talk about the computer animated film that started it all, Toy Story. Now, chances are everyone has seen Toy Story, so I'm not going to go too much into the plot, but the star of the film is, is Woody, a pull-string cowboy doll voiced by Academy Award winner Tom Hanks. Woody has always been the favorite toy of a little boy named Andy, until one day Andy gets a new toy for his birthday, a flashy Space Ranger action figure, Buzz Lightyear. Voiced by Home Improvement star, Tim Allen. Buzz w instantly wins the admiration of Andy's other toys and Andy himself, igniting a rivalry that lands the two inside the home of Sid, the toy torturing boy next door. Now they must learn to work together to escape Sid's house and get back to Andy's house before his family moves away. So, what are my likes and dislikes about this movie? I'll start with my likes, which I have a lot of them, considering this was one of the first movies I saw on home video when I was a kid. The cast is all phenomenal. In addition to Woody and Buzz, you've also got a wonderful cast of supporting characters. You have Mr. Potato Head, voiced by the late, great insult comic Don Rickles, and the know-it-all Piggy Bank, uh, who sits out the sits on the shelf and stares out the window all day, so he knows more about the outside world than the other toys. He's, of course, voiced by John Ratzenberger, who's gone on to be in all the Pixar movies and is considered a good luck charm for the studio. Rax, the insecure toy dinosaur, voiced by the wonderfully funny Wallace Shawn. Woody's ever-faithful hound dog, Slinky, voiced by the late Jim Varney of Ernest Worrell fame. Woody's sweetheart, Little Bill Peep, voiced by Annie Potts. And the Sergeant of the Green Army Man, voiced by the definitive Army Sergeant guy, the late Lee Army. You've also got the humans, uh, namely Andy, his mom, the mean kid next door, Sid, and his sister Hannah. But the humans don't play as big a role as the toys do. I also really like the environment, um, Andy's house, Sid's house. And especially Pizza Planet in the middle of the film. I'd want to eat there. They actually used to have a Pizza Planet at Walt Disney World before they refurbished it into a Muppets-themed pizza restaurant. But Pizza Planet was still cool for what it was. I love the messages of friendship and how Woody learns to overcome his jealousy in order to help Buzz realize that it's cool to be a toy rather than a space ranger like Buzz initially thinks he is. And I love the music by Randy Newman. 
You've Got a Friend in Me is one of my favorite Disney songs, and probably my favorite Disney song ever. I played it on the piano quite a few times, and I really love it. Um, some things I don't like about this movie... Um, really, I don't have that many dislikes with this one, uh, considering it was one of the first movies I ever saw. But, because it was the first computer-animated movie, if I have to be super nitpicky, I would say the only thing I don't like about this movie is actually the animation. Uh, if you look, um, the humans actually look a lot more plastic than the toys. Humans in computer animation were very hard to do back then. But as time has gone on, the humans have gotten a lot better. Uh, really, that's just about it. It's the humans in this film don't look as good as humans in later Pixar films. Also, the environment is great, but really the only key locations are Andy's house, Pizza Planet, Sid's house, and the neighborhood. So there aren't that many sets in this one, but they do get more and more complex and more evocative in later Pixar films as time goes on. So, not that many problems. Toy Story still remains an absolute gem, in my opinion, and probably for a lot of other people in the Pixar library. Um, in terms of personal preference, Toy Story currently ranks smack dab in the middle for me, for Pixar movies. It ranks at number 11. But I still love it. I just think there are a lot of Pixar movies that are better, and a lot of Pixar movies that are worse. So that's my thoughts on Toy Story. Let me know your thoughts on Toy Story. And I'm really excited to be doing more of these Pixar movie reviews. I'm Josiah. Thanks for watching.